Courtney has an amazing memory. I once needed to give my credit card number to a vendor over the phone, and I asked him to hang on a minute while I went to get my wallet. Courtney overheard the conversation and said, hey, hey, wait, wait a second, I know it. And she proceeded to belt out the full 16-digit number on the card, the expiration date, and the three-digit security code. All of a sudden, all these charges for Lulu and these other stores made a lot more sense to me. That <laughs> so I can't wait until she memorizes your Visa number. <laughs> We are at the Westin Hotel on Michigan Avenue. Today is July 15th, 2023. <laughs> My baby girl is getting married to the whole love of her life. It is the day we've been all been waiting for. It's celebration of Zach and Courtney. The boys are probably chilling, doing like nothing right now as we are spending hours getting ready. <laughs> They met senior year of high school in uh, cinema studies class. <laughs> there was a class, and my brother's like, you have to take it, it's a blow-off class, it's so easy. I'm like, all right, fine, I'll take it. We had to do movie projects together in that class, so we were like, oh, well, we get along pretty well. We should be partners for these. And Denise said, hey, this kid's coming over. And I recall just before I met him, I'm reading the paper, and there's a picture of Zach in the paper. He was an all-state soccer player at Sandburg and then started going to soccer games, became a fan. <laughs> it was probably a couple months into their relationship and random conversation, hey, how's it going with your girlfriend, Courtney? He looks at me and goes, dad, she's perfect. Right then and there, I knew <laughs> we'd be at this day. One commonality that I have seen in Zach since the time that I met him is that people gravitate towards Zach. They sense his positive energy. They want to be around him. They know that he's the life of the party. People want to spend time with Zach. He's loyal, he's funny, and a genuine person. Zach's definitely more of the peacock, the, the showman. This is personal. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to cry. I told my mom I wasn't going to cry today. He's just so silly and so much fun. Um, he brings so much joy to the house. <laughs> He'd always say, bringing the energy <laughs> is definitely his key line. My family and I have adored him from the moment we met him 10 years ago. Genuinely, one of the most thoughtful and kind people I've ever met. He's the sweetest uncle to AJ and Ollie and everything and more that I could wish for in a husband for my baby sister. My favorite thing about Courtney is her drive. She's very passionate. She will always go out of her way to help others. She's like the most genuine friend I've ever met and she will always be there for her friends and family. She's just a sweetheart. She's kind. If you're happy, sad, she's always make you feel better, compassionate. I've known her basically since the moment they started dating and uh, it was very clear that Zach loved her very much from the moment he met her. Every day when I see her, I feel like I'm the luckiest guy in the world. She's so nice and compassionate about everyone. Has like the biggest heart in the world. I just love being around her. I love how deeply passionate you are about helping people. I love your relentless perseverance towards your goals. I love your bubbly personality, your unwavering loyalty to your friends. And most of all, I've loved watching you become the most amazing aunt to my boys who adore their Aunt Kiki and Uncle Zach. I'm so proud of all you have accomplished and am forever grateful to have you as my best friend. You're an incredible sister, aunt, daughter, friend, OT, and I have no doubt that you will make an incredible wife in one day, mom. Wow. Look at Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Thank you.
Over the years, I've just watched every important moment. Zach was always there at her side. Didn't know how long it would take for him to pop the question, but I always knew that Zach would be the guy. I'm excited about it. It was like planning for the ultimate Christmas and all the plans and everything culminate today. We got a beautiful day. I'm looking forward to standing right by her side throughout the whole day and just having a good time and celebrating the best day of her life. The moment I walk down the aisle and see him, I think, and then also just having her friends and family all in the same place. Zach's reaction to her, I think that's what I'm most looking forward to. Honestly, seeing 10 years worth of relationship kind of culminate into this finality of marriage. Walking down the aisle in her dress and everything. It's going to be seeing her come through the doors of the church and walk down and uh, realizing that she's coming down to marry me. It'll hit me hard, I can already feel it. One of the things I really love about a wedding is the beginning, when we kind of actually start. Because this day that we've been planning for, for maybe over a year or so, is finally here. And as you kind of look around, you might see someone, see someone taking a big, huge breath. Or someone might be kind of like blinking their eyes because they're getting teary-eyed. Or someone might be swaying a little bit. That's just the groom, so that's okay, you know. And when you shake his hand, it'll be a little cold and a little wet but it's all right. And it's, those are great signs of emotions that really come from our heart on a day like today, because we're really excited and we're filled with happiness and joy for Courtney and Zach. But most of all, we're proud of them. We're proud of who they are and what they mean to each other. I asked both Zach and Courtney, uh, what's the one thing you really like about each other? Because that's what attracts you to the other person. Zach said, I love her smile. I love her personality. She's easygoing. She's kind. She's bubbly. And Courtney said, he's patient. I said, with you? She said, yes. He has a great sense of humor. He can turn a bad moment into something good. Always has a sense of positivity about him. When you listen to those words that come truly from their hearts, you know that their hearts are connected. And that is where God is in their life, in what they share, in what they offer, and what they mean to each other. And that is the grace that God has given to bring them to this day, to this moment in their life. I, Zach, take you, Courtney, to be my wife. I, Courtney, take you, Zach, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. In good times and bad. In sickness and in health, I will love you. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. Try to remember this moment for the people that love you, your parents who gave you life, the first ones who taught you how to love, all those people that have helped you to be who you are this day and to make this day possible. Let's congratulate Zach and Courtney, our new husband and wife.
time with Court and Zach together, you know that they are such a fun couple to be around. They're both goofy, lighthearted, and their love is just easy and effortless. They're low maintenance, you know, they're fun to go out with. I think they complement each other really, really well. They're my favorite couple and I can't wait to celebrate with both of them. The weddings just go by so fast, suck it all in and enjoy the day. I can't wait for her to walk into a theater on the lake and just be wowed. Well, first of all, what a great night. What a great place. What a great couple. Denise and I could not have ever hoped for a better man from Courtney to spend the rest of her life. Dude. Don't waste your time in trying to convert her to be a Cubs fan. She's a South Side girl, my friend, and she'll always be that way. Go Sox! Raise a glass for my baby sister and her new hubby. Cheers! really special to see so many of our good friends from high school in the same place just you know having a good time ready to party Zach's a great dancer Zach might be the best dancer at his own wedding Zach's probably the best dancer out of like anyone here it's weird don't tell him I said that though So Zach, today I transition over to you the primary responsibility for ensuring Courtney's future welfare and happiness. I do this fully knowing that you will love her as much as I have over these past 28 years. It has been one of the best jobs in the world and I'll always be there for both of you. And always know that in joining the Conway and Beale families together today, you will both always be fully loved and supported by all of us. To my dear friends, Mark and Cindy, you've done a great job raising Zach, instilling in him the values and attributes that not only make him a great son, but will also make him a wonderful husband. Dear Corny, overnight, you became my world, my best friend, my soulmate. Your blue eyes, perfect smile, big heart, amazing personality has had me head over heels in love with you since we met. You're the one I want to wake up to every morning next to, the one I want to raise a family with, the one I want to grow old with. I love you so much forever and always, Zachary. Zach, you've exceeded all my expectations of the man I pictured myself marrying when I thought about this day as a little girl. You're the most calm, patient, caring, and funniest guy around. You make the best out of every situation and always have a smile on your face. I cannot wait for a lifetime of endless smiles, laughs, and most importantly, watching your dances. I love you so much, forever and always, Courtney. Continue to be best friends. Never go to bed mad at each other. Be with each other for the good and the bad and just enjoy the ride. I know there'll be lots of energy and laughs and fun along the way. I can't wait to watch the rest of your life together. Love you both. May your lives together as husband and wife be filled with all the joy and happiness that God grants upon you as Mr. and Mrs. Zachary Beale.